Number Rolls has three implementation options, a 30 minute option, a 45 minute option, and a 60 minute option. On this video, we're going to concentrate on the 60 minute option. In the 60 minute option, you'll come to your teacher landing page and then when you're ready to begin, click on lesson plans to begin teaching. On the left hand side, you'll notice you can select 60 minutes, 45, or 30 minutes. In this lesson, we're going to select 60 minutes. Each lesson will give you a skills focus, as well as your objectives and standards that you'll be working with for that lesson. It'll also list creating context for your English learners or for any students with low vocabulary. Your materials for this lesson will be listed. The program materials are materials that are going to be inside your Number Worlds kit. The additional materials are materials you'll need to provide for your students. Below materials, you'll see all the resources for a 60-minute lesson. They include your teacher's edition in electronic format called an ebook. It also includes a letter to home. This is a great way to have a home connection for your Number World students. You have access to the activity cards, which includes hands-on and games for students. You also have reference to the building blocks activities for students. These are activities that students can play on the computer. They're games. These are really fun and exciting, but we'll talk about those a little bit later. Other resources that you have for this lesson will be your English Learner Support Guide as well as an oral assessment for any English learner that needs it. The practice book is also there for students who need extra or additional practice and then you have copies of the student workbook. I want you to notice that you also have a unit pretest here. Every unit comes with a pretest that can be taken either with pencil on paper or online. If you're planning more lessons besides just day one, you also have all of your lessons listed here. So if I'm planning for tomorrow, I can simply click on the drop down menu for lesson two and it shows me what I would use for lesson two. My objectives, my standards, my vocabulary, creating context again, and all of my materials. And then it lists the resources for lesson two. But let's take a look in depth at the teacher's ebook because it lets me know how I'm gonna teach this 60 minute lesson. The Teacher's Edition eBook is a direct replica of your print Teacher's Edition. You can view it in a single page view or a double page view. If it's too small, feel free to zoom so you can see it more clearly. The SRA Number Worlds lesson in the 60 minute implementation has four parts. Warm up, engage, reflect, and assess. Note that you'll also see your resources here again, your standards, your materials, but let's talk about your first part of your lesson, which is warm up. It's a quick five minutes to get students into the lesson. You may do an oral warm up or students may do some mental math, but it's very quick to actually warm up the skill or concept that you're going to be teaching that day. The engage section really is the heart of the lesson. This is where you're going to teach the skill or concept. Students will practice, this is where you differentiate, and this is where they'll also play games. In the very beginning of the Engage section, you will play an activity or a game through the activity card. These cards are also listed on your lesson plans on your teacher page. They include games and activities to students to explore a concept or skill. You also have practice pages for your students. Those practice pages are also listed here on the right hand side for you to see how your students will practice that skill or concept. In the engage section, it's important to differentiate. You'll have several ways to do this in the 60 minute option. One way is to differentiate based on student performance. For students who do not need more practice, you can go ahead and give them independent practice. For those students who need some more support, you have supported practice. This supported practice is a great way to pull in a few students who need some extra support after you've taught the skill or concept. Another way to differentiate is through the building blocks activities. These building block activities are unique to this lesson. You can assign these through your assignment tab on your teacher page. The building block activities, which we'll go into um, depth further, really is a great way for students to practice in a game-like environment. Your third part of your lesson is reflect. This is a time where students will talk about math and write about math. Every workbook page has a critical thinking uh, question where students have to write about math. 
This is the time where they will talk about their answer and make connections to the real world. The fourth part of a lesson in the 60-minute option is assess. These daily assessments on lessons 1, 2, 3, and 4 are informal. A lot of times students may need some additional practice. You have additional practice options in the practice book. On the fifth day of the 60-minute option, students will take an assessment. They will still do the engage section, but then they will have a weekly assessment. But what's also exciting about the 60-minute option is that students will have project-based learning. The project-based learning is located after the fifth lesson of that week. The project-based learning is an exciting time for students to actually reconnect math to real world. The project-based learning has a project evaluation criteria that is linked to an essential question. It also has an objective and standard that you're working on, as well as program materials that may still be used from your kit and additional materials. Best practices are also suggested for project-based learning in the project-based learning activity. The activities are designed to be done on the fifth day of every week. There's three parts to the project-based learning lesson, an introduction, an explore, and then a wrap-up. The project-based learning also has a student workbook page that's located in the student workbook. The project-based learning is fun and exciting and it's a great time for students to make the connection to math and a real-world connection. In the 60-minute option, students will take a four-part lesson plan every single day, an assessment on the fifth day, as well as a project-based learning activity.